Uh, we've got Linda and Trenton here from Chiba Africa. Uh, they've been doing a lot of good knowledge in terms of webinars and that sort of thing. Myrtle was on a, one a couple of weeks ago. But could you tell us a little bit about Chiba and where you're going in this weird, wide future of weed? Yes, it is a weird, wide future. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're basically, I mean, we, we have three different sides to, to our, our company. We do, um, we have a CBD range. Um, we're very into wellness and health and that kind of stuff as well. So uh, that kind of is like our lifestyle okay. brand. Then we, we have Craft Cannabis TV, which is interviews, deep dives into different spaces. Um, so we've got about 50, 60 videos on there now. So that's just also like, just capturing what's going on in the industry and uh, we do, you know, we've got some deep dive interviews. We just did a doctor in the States, which was like a 40 minute interview all about nice. CBD and how it works with your body and dosing, which is a big thing that I'm passionate about because really? it's a very misunderstood dosing. Um, and then we've got the Academy, which is, uh, uh, was the first cannabis Academy launched on the continent. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're, we're very into educating and giving people as much knowledge as possible. We be believe that for this industry to realize its full potential, we all need to learn. You know, we all need to learn. You yeah. know? I mean, when, when we, you know, when we decided to start a cannabis business, uh, even though we've been involved in some ways in cannabis for a long time, it was the beginning of last year, and we looked around, and at that point, I was like, there were no experts in this country. Mm. And now, like a year and a half later, there actually are. There are experts in certain areas and in, in, in fragments yeah. of the industry, you know. Yeah. So we've learned a lot, you know, but, you know, we also need formal training. You know, you, you, can, you can learn a certain amount from YouTube, but... The thing when you do formal training is you you're building you got building blocks. Mm. And it's YouTube, local training because yeah. YouTube is international stuff. Yeah, totally. And with YouTube, you're coming in this angle, that angle. There's no structure. And you yeah. know, when I, I I was I ran a creative media school for many years, and we had guys that come in to learn this program called Ableton, who had been learning on YouTube for five years, mm. and they'd come out of this APIC short course and say that they learned more in this short course than they had on YouTube mm. because they started from the bottom and they'd yes. also learned about bad habits. But also structure, like you say, structure. structure. This is something. I've noticed a lot. We, it's almost like we're stuck at this buffet of information. You don't know what to believe. It's almost overwhelming. We're blessed that we have it yeah. all, but what's right and what's right yeah. for you? And it also allows you the room to get stuck in analysis paralysis, where totally. you, you, you get so stuck in your thing that you will find an answer to it, mm. but also you get so stuck in thinking about it, you don't do it, yeah, 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 yeah. particularly. Yeah. Are you seeing people like do these webinars and things? And I know it's still early still, but are people having things happen afterwards? Are there like careers that these go to? What are people using these webinars for ideally? So um, I would say like for me, because I deal with the sales, mostly like the sales end, and it's important that a lot of this information is not made available in a formalized sort of like environment. So once that's done, it sort of adds credence to what we're doing and also credence to the cannabis industry itself. So now we've got professors, lawyers, retired people wanting to seek more information using the platform. And that's been an eye-opener. And obviously with the webinars, you're just cracking open at something. I mean, just to mention one thing, also like when we were initially doing our first publicizing of the academy, um, our PR person got us into a, which is a CLOSA radio, uh, they don't like to be called radio CLOSA because there's a whole thing. There's a, it's, it's, it's a CLOSA speaking radio station. So I, was, I went on there, I did the thing. I was like, oh my God, this is like, a, it's like, this like the breakfast show, which is like got a, over 20 million listeners yeah. at the same wow. time. Wow. And, and it's very conservative. It's, it's no pressure, pressure at all. Yeah, My no cost is not that good. I spent my, most of my time growing up in Scotland, so you know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> so, so, so here I am at the phone. He was nervous before. Yeah, I, I was like, like <laughs> getting everything right. Like, 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 okay, <laughs> come on the phone. Side kick, back kick. You know, you're going to get it right, eh? So then as I come on the phone, they're like, okay, Linda, Smoto from Chiba, Africa. And I'm like, hey, what's up? you got to talk about Tinsang. When Tinsang was like, yeah. Dacha. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. so every time, and he just loves saying it, because he just loves, the fact that he's allowed to say this on the radio, he just kept on going. <laughs> but obviously he's hurting me because I'm looking like this drug dealer now talking about how I'm going to teach their kids about drugs you know? oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but it was a, fi a five minute interview and, and, and then afterward it was quite big for us and literally our Facebook was just full of Eastern Cape people I did the mistake of setting up my email I, it's been me two weeks it took me two weeks to get back to those guys but the fact that they heard someone talking about this on a very um, like like the station is it's, it's very conservative, right? You've got even yes. the guy who was interviewing me was called yes. Pastor, 
It was like the pastor. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, and here I'm like talking about Dacha, bro. And then like, ah, yeah, but after rebel. that, it was, it was proper. It was, I mean, we got a couple of leads. And also one of our students, a 65-year-old retired man, he, him and I were like on the phone together. Like, I'm on Gezi, <laughs> if you're watching. Like, I'm with him on the time. He's like, tell me about the hemp thing. I'm trying to get the hemp thing in. You know, I'm giving him advice. So it's been, it's been interesting. So that's how far in terms of... But the industry itself, I mean, Trent will speak long on that, is, uh, it's not there yet for us to actually let people filter into it, but there are spaces opening up yeah. Yeah, for that. Yeah. I mean, there, is, there isn't a big job market for the yeah. cannabis industry at the moment, you know, but it's coming, there's no doubt about it. You know. and, and if we, you know, we, we, we have the potential as a, as a country to really play globally, you know, yeah. because of our history, I mean, we all know the, the, the background, but the reality is, is we have to educate our populace. <sighs> You know, from the ground up, whether it's the farm labourer uh, up to the up to the master grower, we have to educate ourselves because we're competing with, on a global level. You know, and and uh, and we've got to have proper standards. You know, so you know it's it's frustrating at the moment because obviously you know on a government level it's taking too long. You know, yeah. and, and, and we're also in a pandemic. And, mic again. Drop mic. But, um, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> Well, they're, they're, I, I, you know, I know, I'm preaching to convert him, everybody who's watching and here yeah, now, like, this is just such a big opportunity that it's taking too fucking long, to be honest. Mm -hmm. you know? um, and, and also, like, if we don't move, there's a lot of other competitive countries, you know, it's coming online in Ghana and Zim, yeah. and you know, all these countries are coming online, yeah. you know, so <laughs> we really need to be more competitive and things need to move faster. But, yeah. so, so what, going back to what Linda's saying, so on, on our academy, we've got professors, um, you know, Tony Budden one of our yeah. guys, we've got a doctor from the States, so we're also trying to make sure that from an education perspective, it's not just about smoking weed, you know, there's a whole spectrum yeah. of stuff, we've just, we've just uh, launched a course uh, this week, which has been accredited by the HPSCA, which is the healthcare yes. practitioners, so doctors can now do a medical cannabis course and get eight points, CPD points. Oh, we know the that's, CPD points, we had yeah, to do a so, conference. So that's oh, like, nice. we're like, fuck, that's amazing. That, it was yeah. a, you know, we've managed to get it through and... Um, makes it real, yeah. So that yeah. makes it real, you know. So yeah. now all of a sudden we, we're speaking to doctors going, yeah. do our course because it's, it's got a it's sign, info, it's yeah. got a tick, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff you don't know. Yeah. yeah. So it's a slow process, but it's just, uh, it's super important. You're to advertise really now into markets that you were never able to, oh, like yeah, we now... Yeah. It Sorry. makes an impact because before you'd advertise it, but you'd be like, they're not going to do it. They're yeah. not going to want to because they're not. They're going to be looked. They're going to be frowned upon. Yeah. Now with the points, you can go and go to every single doctor's office and say, listen, yeah, educate totally. yourself. And every Wake market up you break this. into yeah. is groundbreaking. Yeah. It is now yeah. you can you can earn, but you can bury yourself yeah. in your fraternity yeah. by just doing the course. Totally. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. When Good we work. first when we first we did, ran the craft cannabis sessions. Uh, early last year and yeah. I tried to get a doctor to come on and speak. No one wanted Nobody to. would come on. Everyone was like, no, it could threaten my license. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously now yeah. it's that's now. starting to change. Now it's a lot easier. But we actually, so, you know, when we did this genetics webinar, it was it was interesting because before we actually started it, I was t talking to the guys. We had some guys from Europe on and um, the Dutch Passion and Royal Queen Seas guys. And they said, like, we were having a b b bit of a moan about it. And I, I said, listen, I don't want this webinar to get focused on the bill. We're talking genetics. I just want to make that clear. And then these guys, international guys said, guys, you should actually be thankful for this bill, you know, because it might have issues, but you're a shitload further ahead of than we are in Europe. You know? yeah. mm -hmm. um, and it was just a different perspective, you know, obviously it's a different environment and they don't have the, yeah. they don't have the need to the extent that we do. Like we yeah. need this shit to happen. Yeah. Now, we really you know? do. We really, really do need it's, it. It's you know? not so, even play play anymore. No, but it was an interesting concept, you know. So, so from that perspective, like, you know, even yeah. if you look at the States, so it was 20, 2001. In Denver was the first medical license that came out. They've had 19 years. Yeah. Right? Still, you know, so they, it, it took time. We, we, I'm yeah. not saying that it should take yeah. that long, but yeah. so, sometimes you've got to put it in perspective. Yeah. But it must be quicker. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. You know? It's definitely. I'll tell you this much: it's faster than it's ever been, and I yeah. feel like it's getting quicker. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. There's a lot of people talking about it, More and talk. a lot of people. But it's, it's funny because you know I did an interview on, on SAFM, yeah. and uh, they took two WhatsApp messages. And both of them were like, they thought I was a drug dealer, this is the devils, this, and the guys in the township said drinking, smoking, weed, and fighting. I was like, oh, that's because they're drinking before they smoke. Yeah. But besides it's the point, but, uh, but uh, every yeah. now and then, yeah. we're also cannabis open, yeah. but every now and then you meet someone and you're like, shit, yeah. like, we're, we're, we're still in the mi minority yeah. by yeah. a long way. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So, so it's important to wear both hats, you know, we've got the, 
the, the stoner community, the, the recreational users are really passionate about it. Yeah. But then we've got your, you know, your, your people who are using it for medicinal reasons. Yeah. And, 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 and it's such a wide market and such a wide range of people that uh, the cannabis And they're using it in it different is. ways. They're boiling the, the, the leaves. They, you know, they, 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 yeah, they, it's, it's just interesting to see how people are utilizing the plant for all these different you know, elements that they have. We all think we just smoke it. There's a lot yeah, more use. A lot, a lot Smoking more. and medicine is in the minority yeah. on the pie chart of weed. I yeah. mean, industrial uses are... Yeah, there's like 420 that. dimensions. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's like a diamond. Every time you look, there's a new facet to it. Yeah, and it's many things to many people in many forms, which is mm. also great. Because like you say, it's not just getting about high. Like we sit here and we get high, this is us blowing off steam. But in reality, there's a lot of, even for us, life... And where weed gives in different ways, you know. Yeah. But getting high sure is nice. <laughs> it's a happy byproduct. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> so everyone from amateurs to professionals, if you're looking at getting woke on weed, please check out Chiba Africa. Yeah. We put the link in the bottom. Yeah. Webinars, all that good stuff. The CBD points for the doctors. Hey? Not CBD points. So what's it? CBD. 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 Continuing <laughs> professional development. Cool, man. Please go check it out because that makes it legit as fuck. And doctors have to get a certain amount of points yeah. every yeah. year to keep their license. Yeah. To keep yeah. their license. Yeah. Well, not even doc pharmacists, doctors, yeah. the dentists, right. all of them. Yeah. Right. Medical professionals. Yeah. Just keeping oh, the standards yeah. up. So it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Cool, man. Yeah, I see Ross Warren says here, yeah, make FPJ with your bong water. Uh, FPJ. FPJ. Well, Dylan <laughs> on Facebook says, my dad made a bong once and we smoked it through red wine. <laughs> After like 10 hits, my dad drank the wine. Duck Kuruk. And Ooh. how's it for him? He's watching from the UK. Nice. Oh, classic. How's Yo, that? bro, that's... But again, alcohol. Alcohol. So maybe it wasn't placebo, hey? Yeah. 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 And you know, sometimes that weed eh, catches up with you. Mm. Guys, a uh, big thank you to Chiba Africa for joining us on the couch night. They're going to be couch locked with us. We're going to be talking lang dang. And please don't forget, uh, voting this week's pool. A uh, pool. Yes, I'm so proud. Ow. It's because Dan keeps bringing the dank. Uh, uh, guys, please uh, vote in this week's Zol poll. Yeah. Will bong water yeah. get you high? We have got WWE with puppies going down here. Yeah. Please don't mind Apologies that. Apologies for the loud noises you would have heard <laughs> as they attacked the mic. Yeah, guys, destruction. <laughs> destruction, boys. So...